Well, Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and welcome to my backyard. It's uh, early morning. It's one of the coldest days of the year here. In fact, yesterday uh, we broke a record for um, for the lowest high in like since 1922 or something like that. I mean, it's pretty crazy. I mean, it was only like uh, we got up to like 56 degrees or something like that, and the previous lowest high was 50. Uh, eight or something like that. Anyway, I just kind of heard it on the news. And uh, this morning, it is actually freezing out. Um, it is um, at least 32 degrees. I'm looking at frost on top of all the houses, which is very rare here. You know, because I'm in Florida, and like a couple days ago, it was 87 degrees. Can you see, it's so cold, can you see the hair standing up on top of my head? <laughs> so, I got this great question from Waldy, and it has to do with motivation. And he says, greetings, I am uh, wondering if an insightful perspective on motivation, motivating oneself. Um, you may remember that I am a Finnish student who is studying in uh, uh, Lukio, uh, which is short for the equivalent to high school in the USA. Uh, and I find it very difficult to concentrate and actually on the actual studying. I'm easily distracted and I have little to no motivation to complete my assignments uh, and other school related stuff in time. I find myself piling the work up until it's too late to do them. Even though I don't really have any hobbies or anything uh, which would hog all of my time. Also I have lately felt a little bit depressed mainly due to the stress I have because of the low grades and unfinished work. Um, have you ever experienced something like this? Do you have any advice? You know what? I think that maybe everybody experiences something like that at one time or another. I mean, uh, wow, the sun's just coming up over the houses there. Uh, and <clears throat> it, um, it is uh, something that I think that uh, is normal. Um, but, you know, here's, uh, here's something that... Um, that I've heard before that I believe to be true. And, um, and necessity breeds uh, motivation and innovation. And what that means is, is that, let's just say that, um, you know, you find yourself without a house and uh, without any money to afford a roof over your own head. And you're, you're in high school still, so, you know, maybe, you know, you haven't thought about something like that, but you know, that happens even to, you know, people's parents and, you know, being one of the kids, you know, you can end up having to live with relatives in their basement or, you know, sharing a house or moving into a really small apartment. Um, you know, things happen and, um, you know, money doesn't come in like expected and, and sometimes people even find themselves living on the streets. Uh, now, <clears throat> that may not be for all countries or that you know, for some, for some of you, that may be very real. Um, I've never lived on the street, but when I, uh, I remember when I first moved out uh, and uh, got my own place, I became very motivated to earn enough income to keep the roof over my own head. And actually, that is the time when I probably learned the most. You know, I didn't, um, I didn't listen to my parents a lot when I was a teenager. And, uh, you know, they kept giving me all this advice and everything. And I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever, <laughs> stuff like that. And then when I moved out, um, I started hanging out with my parents a lot more after I moved out on my own. Uh, my dad and I would go out to a movie once a week or something like that and, and stuff. And, and they became a lot better friends. And I realized that a lot of what they said was actually true. Um, <clears throat> but that's kind of off the subject. This is, this is about motivation. Uh, and so, you know, people, there's a lot of people who are not motivated. Um, and, you know, it's hard to find that motivation. Um, one of my brothers, he uh, didn't, uh, he didn't move out, uh, of the house with my parents until he was, I don't know, 27 or 28. And, 
you know, it, he just wasn't motivated by money at all. In fact, I still don't think he's motivated by money. And, and I haven't exactly figured out what motivates him. And, you know, so he just does his own thing. He's very creative. Uh, he's he's uh, very innovative. Uh, he does a lot of artsy things. And he likes technology and plays around with technology and everything. And, and but, but material things are not important to him. And so he doesn't... Um, you know, he doesn't strive to have the latest gadgets, the latest phones, the latest computers, the latest games and everything. And um, it's really a different type of lifestyle from like me. Like I want, you know, the best computer I can have. Um, you know, back when I had money, I don't have any money these days. Back when I had money, I had, you know, the best car I could afford. In fact, I had a couple of them. <laughs> and, you know, um, my my house, we remodeled it and it always looked immaculate and, you know, ha having all this material stuff. Um, and I'm not so motivated by material stuff anymore uh, because I realized that it doesn't really bring you happiness. And so now I live a little bit more basic. I still have a hot rod computer because, you know, I do all my video editing and, and you know, video games. I get, I get a lot of enjoyment out of video games. And so anyway, it, um, uh, motivation comes from within. And to find that really is just kind of a moment when you're like, I want to get something done. So. If you're not motivated to, to do your schoolwork and, and um, you know, get that done and everything, maybe, you know, I don't know how far along you are in school, but if you're in your last year, wow, uh, suck it up and just get it done. Uh, most definitely. You know, you don't want to uh, be out trying to get a job and say, no, I never graduated. I never finished school. Um, you need to figure out how to finish that. And the reason is, is because in, in life, it's, um, it's not as fair whenever, whenever you are, you know, say, looking for a job. It's um, a lot more about who you know than what you know. And if you don't know anyone, then uh, it makes it very, very difficult to get a job. Um, and so, you know, things like uh, being able to list that you did graduate and everything is very, very important because it becomes all about stats. So they have two people, same age, applying, uh, you know, same similar skill sets, like uh, little to none on, on work experience. And, you know, then it's like, okay, so we got to uh, choose one of these. Oh, one of them graduated high school. Well, we're choosing them. It shows us they can finish things. And I know that that's hard to find the motivation to do that, but sometimes you have to fake it until you make it. And, you know, that, uh, you know, I, I can't find your motivation for you. All I can do is relate to your experiences of what's motivated me. Now, I decided that um, after my my last career of, um, you know, selling game codes and stuff. Um, I've been through a few things. You know, when I started out working, uh, I was a messenger, and I drove this um, this little this little tiny um, Toyota car, and uh, ran all around town delivering like envelopes to lawyers and stuff like that, and. I enjoyed that and everything, but I decided that I really wanted something more. So the motivation that I found was to excel uh, my skills and uh, get find a better job. Well, so what I did next was I uh, found this job working uh, at a company that uh, was also a messenger place. In fact, they even had bicycle messengers. Um, but they also had all the way up to semi trucks, you know, the big tandem trucks. And, um, and so I see my, my neighbor birds are over here. What are they, what are they looking for? They're probably afraid to get into the water. I don't know if you saw them fly in here or not. Anyway, um, the, the, uh, 
um, they had all the way up through semi trucks. And so because they had these big trucks, I decided, okay, I'm gonna switch to this company if I can. And I was gonna start working on a goal of, um, of being able to drive semis. And so, you know what, it worked out. I got all the way up to my class B CDL, uh, commercial driver's license. And, uh, and I, did, I was training to, um, to drive the semi trucks whenever I had driven them over the road some and everything, but always with another driver. Um, and it, um, uh, but then I'm like, you know, I think I, I want uh, a job that'll offer me more security because uh, I watch other companies just go out of business and stuff like that. And so I'm like, hmm, maybe I should work for the government. And I decided, okay, well, I'm going to work for, uh, I want to work for the, the bus service, you know, the city transit. And uh, then I got a job there before I got my uh, class A CDL. And, uh, and that paid twice as much. You know, and so I kept just moving up and making new goals. And my motivation was the advancement of myself and uh, what I could do for myself. And so maybe in essence, that is my motivation. You know, what is the next thing? What is your next step? You know, so what is it that you have to work towards? You know, is that, does that provide you with motivation to do what you need to? We all get lazy sometimes and everything, but you know what, that gets boring after a while. And so, you know, and so I kept moving up and everything. And finally, you know, when I was driving bus, I'm like, you know, I think I can do more. I opened a computer store after that. And, um, you know, then I've been in the video game industry for, golly, how many years now? 15 years? Um, and uh, do different things. And what motivates me right now? Well, you know what? I, I can tell you what motivates me right now. What motivates me right now is that I don't have enough money to survive. <laughs> So, you know, even though um, I have all this success that you see, you know, uh, a lot of successful stuff that I've done and everything, um, you know, even, even myself, you know, I was, I was doing all great and everything and something happened and, and I've gone broke. And, uh, and I'll explain more about that in later videos. Um, Right now is not the time to, to talk about that, but, but I'll talk about what's happened and everything. And um, it, uh, so my motivation right now is to work as hard as I can to earn enough to, um, to, to live. And, and you know, I'm, I'm covering all my bills right now, but just barely. It's like I have no emergency fund. I have, uh, we spent it all on emergency stuff and have no um, extra money to buy anything new. You know, I'm like worried that our car is going to break down and then what am I going to do? You know, I'm going to, uh, it'll be a struggle to come up with the money to get another car. And uh, so I'm very, very motivated to, um, to work as hard as I can and do as good a job as I can with uh, the game code sales that we do and with my videos uh, so that, uh, you know, I can earn enough. And uh, then I'll relax a little bit, you know, once I've got that emergency fund in there and everything. And uh, that won't, that won't uh, you know, change my, my inner motivations because, you know, then um, I'll make some other changes. I'll find, well, what else can I improve on and everything? And, and I'll start working on that. So uh, anyway, I know I kind of rambled a bit there and everything, but um, I hope that that gives you some insight on, uh, on you know, what motivates me personally. For everybody, it's different. Not everybody is motivated by money. Uh, you know, some people are motivated by, you know, um, I don't know, you're lonely and, you know, you're looking for a girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, you know, or, you know, you're motivated because you're really into sports and so you do the best that you can to be as good as you can at it because you're very competitive or uh, in video games, you know, you're motivated that way. Um, but for most of us, the motivation needs to translate into something that's productive. And um, so that's the trick to make it productive so that it helps forward you in life. And uh, so I wish you luck and uh, keep at it. 
uh, you'll get there, you know, and, and fake it till you make it. Just do your best to get through it and, uh, and figure out what you want to do next and start working toward that. I'm Marky Dragon. Take care. Well, now that you've made it this far, can I interest you in a few more videos? You know, in the upper left, I get questions from people who are really exploring about who they are, what they should do, and, you know, the other people around them. And uh, in that video, I really try and explain how you can just be yourself. Don't worry about the BS that other people give you. Just be you and continue forward. In the upper right, you see all that lightning going off? Woohoo! <laughs> you know, I am a big fan of hazardous weather. And uh, I filmed this while in Mississippi and uh, set the lightning show to music, hard rock music. So check it out if you want some uh, hmm, just creative stuff that I've done. At the bottom left is The Mailbag. It's a brand new series that I've just started, and uh, it's where I am reading the mail, one by one, that comes into my YouTube account. Uh, I'm not skipping anything, and I'm not leaving anything out, and just saying it as it is, and what comes to my mind, and when we hit one that's really good, the video continues through that one, and we talk about that subject, and then that segment is over. So, I've uh, come across quite a few good things from that, and it's been very well received. You should check it out if uh, you want to uh, see what other viewers are saying. And in fact, if you want to send me anything, you can. It will get read. So, and then in the lower right, <clears throat> you know, sometimes we have to deal with really shitty people. And, uh, you know, I explain some of my experiences. You know, I was a bus driver. I got assaulted several times on the bus. I uh, owned a computer store and had abusive customers. And in fact, just the other day, I fired a customer because he was an asshole. So, you know, don't put up with that stuff. Just, uh, you know, be, you know, make sure that people are respectful of you and have compassion for those other people. So, anyway, enjoy the music on the way out. Make your selection. I'm Marky Dragon. Take care.